Hello amazing people watching on YouTube. Welcome to part two of how to let your Mac work for you. Now in this video, we're gonna actually use Automator. It's a pretty old app, but there's a saying that says old but gold or pure gold. Now, we're not gonna do something that, well, really fascinating in this video, but again, it's gonna be a real lifetime problem that this app helped me solve. And instead of wasting so much time on unnecessary stuff, just copying and pasting, we can uh, do a simple script. Well, it's not exactly script in this situation. It maybe is, but we're not gonna be scripting it. There is a feature that called watch me do. And it's just literally what it says. Uh, you're gonna let the Mac watch you do something and we will record it. And after recording it, uh, we're just gonna repeat it using a, a, a for loop that implemented in this Mac. So uh, the moment you launch Automator, you're gonna have this screen or just you will have another screen with a new document. If so, click on new document. If you have this screen, so we're good to go. Just click on workflow and then click choose. And there you go, you have your first screen. So as you can see, if you have already uh, played around with shortcuts, uh, pretty much it's the same stuff at shortcuts. Maybe we have uh, newer stuff in shortcuts and older stuff here in Automator. So let me show you what we want to solve. So I'm here in some client website. And they have a bunch of images. Now this time we're not gonna organize anything because we are in a in WordPress panel. You may be familiar. There's nothing to hide. But what I want to do, I want to add alt to each and each image because I have uh, uploaded the images. And as you can see, we have no alternative text, which is pretty useful in um, in Google SEO and in, in in web development. And it's just you need to have alternative text for your images now. My solution is for this problem, but you can like the sky's the limit. You can use my solution and the method that I will show you now in another problem. Now, if I want to just do what I want to do without automator, I'll be, let's say, for example, um, so excuse the Arabic because we need to do this in Arabic, but it doesn't matter. You can just, it's an alternative text. So this is my choice of my alternative text. So let's say I want to just pass this here and let's say also for the caption as well. And I'll quit, go to uh, the other image and do this as well. Or you, you may say, well, you can do this. Okay, I can do this. Control V, I can do this. Now notice that I may be fast, but it's still dry. Like it's repetitive and you know the method dry I explained in the previous video don't repeat yourself and we don't want to repeat ourselves if I want to do this I may have to do this for I don't know let's check this image so yeah we have alternative text here but let's say 20 30 images now I need to be here in order to do this and I need to repeat the same steps over and over and over again now what if we want our Mac to work for us he can do the job and meanwhile we can do another thing or <laughs> we can even eat a sandwich or watch something or i don't know watch the dishes maybe if you do so um respects so let's let him watch us do something now we did all of those we want to go to this image for example so we start here so we want to do um a sequence of steps that uh eventually one time we will do it eventually one time and then we will do a for loop so he can repeat this over and over again so let's say for example i want to hit enter and then click here Control v click here Control v and then hit escape button and right arrow and that's it then it will repeat the uh the previous steps it will hit enter again click here Control v click here Control v escape and right arrow. so let's do this um, so yeah, we want to start here. So let's go to watch me do the automator app So all we need to do right now is just click on record But I want to show you a little trick and if we don't do this, we might have a few problems. So notice that um, Just like pay attention that we have this selected here now if you if you click anywhere Let's say we are right now in the watch me app and if we start by clicking here We have the selection off and in order to keep the selection why we want to keep the selection because when it's selected we can just easily go left and right so you can't click here and you can't click anywhere else what we want to do we want to click just like above here on our tab it doesn't matter here or here but you want to click on the tab so if i click here i still have the selection 
all right now i can go left and right if i click here i still have the selection and this is the first action that we want the watch me do to record now let's try it let's go to the watch me do uh, to the automator and let him watch us click here and then enter and then we want to control v control v or command v hit escape go right and that's it now i I clicked on the stop button, you didn't see it on the screen, it was on my other screen, but you should have a stop button just like this one here to stop the uh, to stop the watch me do. And that's what we did. Now notice this click is right above here, and then we clicked enter, and then on the text field, and then we hit command V, and then on the text area, command V, and then this is the escape button. Uh, was it the escape button because we needed the right button now let's test it and see for ourselves now let me click here again all right I have this selected do I have something no I didn't have anything so let's go to the automator and let's hit run and let's see what will happen all right clicked on the safari and then clicked on it and then the first great great escape great go right great and that's it it stopped because we are not repeating the process now what we want to do we now made sure that we have our steps correctly now if we repeat the process again because uh if you paid attention the last step was just like hitting the right arrow and it's preparing itself for the next picture now if we repeat it we'll go all over again here we will click here this will do nothing and then we will hit enter go into the picture and do all of these steps again now if i'm right and normally i'm not this should work great now let's say ask to continue now loop automatically we can do minutes here or times i'm gonna do times i'm gonna do two times and if all good this should do it two times now let's hit run and let's watch what will happen okay goes to the first picture great all right fantastic nice now it should escape great right arrow ah uh, come on dude okay so we uh, so he didn't do the enter for some reason what i think is happening and I um, mean, silly me, it's my problem. I think we are just not entering into this loop. And you need to pull down the loop to the bottom in order to repeat it. Yep, that was my problem. I'm sorry, guys. But let's try this now. Let's press on the play button. Now, okay, pasting, great, escape, hitting right, enter, pasting, fantastic. And now we have for ourselves something that is just working alone this is i i really love this i mean i i hope you are as excited as i am guys now we can do this for example uh for say 10 times of course i can do this for 50 times but i want to just make it faster all right now let's make it fast let's do it all the way to the end i'm sure this is itchy for some of you to just see me do it now let's click run and now let's see fast oh this is fantastic now notice i cannot be doing this alone this is not just fast it's also automating this right now i'm just talking and do some you know hand movements like i'm talking in a zoom call or something else but yeah it's just doing the work alone this is fantastic now it's up to you to just implement this idea this automator tool this thing that i've just showed you in any of your life problems now you can just be as creative as you want um in order to do it notice it just finished the uh 10 times now Okay, and we are not finished. If you guys want to take it a little bit to the next level and use it in shortcuts, so uh, this is our workflow that we just made. And uh, so we, we can simply click on save and save it wherever you want. Now, uh, I have already saved it as a YT um, auto, just like YouTube, you can save it wherever you want. Now we can quit this entirely and launch shortcut. Let me launch shortcuts again. Now this is shortcuts and all you need to do is just simply drag it. See, this is it. You can just simply drag it right here. And after dragging it, um, so notice that you can use Siri, all right? Now you can use Siri, um, just change my alts, for example. And if you tell Siri, hey Siri, change my alts, Siri will just change your alts, but it will change it 10 times. You can click show more here, control the playback speed. Let's leave it to the maximum. Now, uh, let's take it also a little bit, just a little bit to the, to the next level. Instead of, um, make it 10 times let's ask for a number so ask for a number so let's do it here here ask for change the text to a number with the prompt and now instead of the 10 times let's select the magic variable and do the provide the input now um, when we play this it's going to ask us for a number and using this number it's going to repeat our um, script here 
number of times all right and this is change my alts now we can equip the shortcuts equip the shortcuts here and notice i can just use raycast and just tell it change my alts this is change my alts and if you watch my raycast videos earlier we can even do an alias or a hotkey for it now let, let, let us do a hotkey so if i do um for example command shift and um z no it's not working okay it's um g okay so we have g3 okay now notice that we can simply just use the keyboard shortcut instead of doing all what we did before let's call that what we did before was setting up the um the automation and now we can just hit command shift g and boom what number let's say uh two times i don't know so two times let's hit done and boom that's it this is one time now right arrow the second time and that's pretty much it as simple as that that's everything for today guys so have a great day